Joshna, just tell me about yourself. Good afternoon, sir. Okay. First of all, thank you for giving me this wonderful opportunity. Mm -hmm. My name is Joshna Priya and I am from Vizer. I have recently completed my B.Tech in Mechanical Engineering from Gayatri Vidya Parishad College of Engineering mm -hmm. and I have done my intermediate from Sri Chaitanya Junior College and done my schooling from Chanakya School. Coming to my family background, I was raised by a single parent mm -hmm. and I have an younger brother and coming to my strengths, I am a quick learner uh, and uh, highly determined to achieve my goals mm -hmm. and managing multiple tasks and working effectively under pressure are my additional strengths. And coming to my hobbies, uh, reading books and playing indoor games are my hobbies. And coming to my goals, my short term goal is to be placed in a well reputed company. And my long term goal is to be placed in a respectable position in the organization where I work. During mm -hmm. my curriculum, I have been introduced to the world of programming through Python okay. as one of my subjects. And okay. I found uh, solving complex problems using this. Uh, Simple logical uh, uh, programming is quite interesting. Hence, I want to switch my career from mechanical to IT sector. Uh, that's all from my side, sir. Thank very good, very good. How much you rate yourself in Python out of five? I would like to rate four out of five. In very Python, good, sir. very good. What is the purpose of loops, madam? Generally, if you want to run some set of statements for multiple times, we use loops. There are mainly two types of loops in Python. A for loop and while loop. Okay, very good. I mean, uh, why the Python is dynamically typed? Dynamically typed means that the type of the variable will be decided during the runtime. In Python, we there is no need to declare the variable. Uh, I mean, declare or initialize the variable just like in C or C plus uh, plus. Okay. That's why uh, Python interpreter. I mean, Python runtime virtual machine automatically converts the data type that we passed into the variable that's okay. why it is a based on the value you are storing the type yeah, of the, the type variable, of the variable will be decided very good what do you mean of variable by the way variable as a, a thing which is used to store uh, data inside it okay good so tell me what is the difference between list and tuple list is a data structure which is used to store heterogeneous values which allows duplicate values which follows the order and very list good. is a mutable data structure that in terms of adding new element removing existing element or modifying existing elements tuple is just like list but the only difference is tuple is immutable data structure okay except the mutability and immutability is there any other difference yes sir. except mutability and immutability there is a performance difference between list and tuple compared okay. to list tuple has better performance how uh, because uh, I mean, if we uh, while creating a list, uh, as list is a mutable data structure, we can add uh, elements into it or modify the existing elements at different times. But while initializing a tuple, we are uh, adding elements. I mean, we are storing all the elements in a tuple one in once in a single shot. That means there is a high chance of uh, storing the data in an adjacent yes, memory location. So very fetching good. back the data is uh, very easy. Good, very good. Take one list, madam. X is equal to? Yes, sir. Um, 10, 20, 10, 20, uh, and 30, 40. I want you to print only the duplicated numbers. Meaning 10 and 20 I want to print. Yes. Only duplicated ones I want to print. Yes. Okay, again. Okay. Tell me what do you mean of string, madam? Uh, string is nothing but a group of characters enclosed in a single quotes or double quotes. Sir. Okay. String is an immutable data structure. I mean, immutable uh, object. Okay. So you take one string, apple, like apple. Uh, I want you to change mm -hmm. the, you know, alternate characters into uppercase. A lowercase, next P should be into uppercase. Yes, next sir. P should be in lowercase, L yes. should be in uppercase. Yes. Do that. It should be minus 32, madam, but it did good. Very good. Very good. Okay. What is the difference between return and yield keyword? Written, uh, return means, uh, return is a special, uh, by using return inside a function, uh, if we hit the return statement, uh, the execution of the function will come back to the calling area. Mm -hmm. While in yield, uh, whereas in yield, if we want, if we there is a need of a function to return multiple values, uh, we use yield keyword. Here, the basic behavior of yield keyword is, uh, it uh, 
returns value by value to the calling area and go back to the call i mean function and resumes the execution very good very good man. what do you mean of closure closure is nothing but a uh, remembering the state of a, vari a local variable outside of a function is known as closure why what is the use of closure man? closure is mainly used to provide data security uh, and very it good. doesn't allow uh, variables to be accessed easily from outside of a function okay what do you mean of decorator decorator is a special function which is used to uh, modify the output of a original function without actually modifying the original function what is the necessity of it generally uh, it uh, decorators are mainly used when uh, we have a hard code uh, if our requirements are different for different different uh, clients uh, instead of modifying every time modifying the original code if we want to if we have to wrap the code with uh, with decorators uh we can deliver the uh, required results to the required clients very good very good